So I called the protest today outside Radio Foil to highlight that the exclusion and how BBC are shown bias towards me as an independent candidate in the upcoming assembly elections. If anybody knows me, they're going to know that I really want to achieve change for people and that's why I've put myself forward. The job that I do every day, I see how the failures of systems have a negative impact directly on people's lives and how some chances, how sometimes even, no matter how hard you try, you're never going to be able to break that cave mode that, 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 they, that, that they have created, they for us. I mean, like, it's sad that I've had to come here outside BBC Foil today. Um, this is the second political live event that I have experienced mistreatment over and have been put at a disadvantage, a direct disadvantage. Because by me not being on those live uh, BBC shows, it means that you're not getting the opportunity to hear the passion and the commitment that I have in my voice. It's time for change and it's because people matter. So it's been great that people have showed up and, and shown me the support today and other candidates have called for me to be included in the debate, but it hasn't happened. Um, this is a sad reflection of how big corporate uh, media moguls can manage to control and can attempt to restrict and influence your choices and your options in your life. I would call for everybody now, the Mara, stand up, make a statement. It's Vote Bradley 1 because we have to vote for inclusion. There is only one way to balance this situation and it's to invite me in. It hasn't happened yet. If, you, if they're not inviting me, then they're not inviting you. I'm here today to show me solidarity with Kevin Bradley, who's an absolute lady who works tirelessly in the community 24-7, 365. This, this lady has been excluded today from the BBC and it is totally unacceptable for the electorate. The electorate need to, need to come out and, and stand by Kathleen because she has been excluded for the amount of work that she's done and including the work that she's done in, with, with, with the detox and, and with the other work that she's done with my organisation which is the Bridge of Peace and Love. She has been working for the last four and a half years behind the scenes, unpaid as a volunteer, giving her time all the time when she's asked she does so on and this is this is the thanks when she goes on bbc radio foil when they asked her to go on at a drop of a hat and she drops everything for them and she's on for the wider community to speak about the wider community this is totally unacceptable that censorship should be used in this way and that kathleen bradley should be excluded it's unacceptable and i know the solidarity today with all the everyone that was in there but they could have they could they could have made a decision today and the decision they could have made was they couldn't have went ahead of with the program. They could have boycotted the BBC and that's what should have really happened. But Kathleen, she will fight on and she will do come tomorrow, come the next day. There's nothing's going to change Kathleen. She is a pure, unbelievable, good fighter for community. I do think I do want to make a reference to that in terms of the candidate Kathleen Bradley, um, who's put herself up for election. Yeah like anyone else, and I think deserves airplay. Uh, I would like to make that point. Uh, I, I haven't heard any rationale from BBC at this point as to, um, that would satisfy me as to why this person would... would, would yes, yes.